artificial intelligence, large language models, and machine learning have made a lot of advancements over the past couple of years. Beyond ChatGPT, BARD, and the others making the headlines, I will share with you fun and interesting AI tools worth knowing about that will show you the more playful side of AI. Let's get started. This first one is an AI experiment from the folks at Google. Symantris is a word association game that uses machine learning to choose words most closely related by definition to the ones you type in. It's available in two modes, arcade and blocks. In arcade mode, the goal is to move the word given below the line by typing a word the AI understands. If you do, you earn points. You lose when the words hit the top of the screen. Here's an example. In blocks mode, you're given several blocks with colors, some having a word. Of the words given, type a clue about any of them. If the AI guesses the word, you earn points. It'll remove that block and all connected blocks of that same color. The game ends when blocks go over the top line. Here we go. Musify AI creates musical playlists based on any novel or using an author's name. 
the AI interprets music that best fits with the theme of a book or themes found in books by a particular author. In this example, I'll enter in The Shining, which is a classic book by Stephen King. And then hit enter. It now shows a playlist of songs based on the theme of The Shining. Once created, if you click on the plus, that playlist can be imported to Spotify. And of course, on Spotify, you'll have to log in to save that playlist. On the subject of music, Lyrical Labs is an AI tool that will create original lyrics for any theme, genre, or mood. To do this, you enter in keywords or phrases, and it will generate lyrics based on what you enter. It's fun to see what it comes up with. If you're not completely happy with the results, the song lyrics can be edited or rewritten. Lyrical Labs is 100% royalty free, meaning that you keep all the rights to the lyrics you create on this platform. This will be a quick one. The site BoredHumans.com has more than 100 AI tools for you to play around with for free, some of which are quite fun, including an image generator, virtual boyfriends and girlfriends, a murder mystery where you try to solve an AI generated crime, and many others. For example, using the image generator, it created this image using the prompt, monkeys riding a donkey on a secluded beach. And there's this one using the prompt, tiny Tom Cruise wearing pink while riding a poodle in New York City. Isn't that cute? Chef GPT is a more advanced version of Supercook and My Fridge Food, two websites I've mentioned in the past. Chef GPT, using the power of AI, will recommend recipes based on the ingredients you have in your home. In addition to its site, it also has apps for iOS and Android. It's easy to use. There are several modes along the left, including one that'll help you to create cocktails. There is a cookbook for saving recipes and a shopping list for your ingredients. Using the most common mode, which they call Pantry Chef, you simply enter your ingredients. Let's go with milk eggs, bacon, onions, salmon, anchovies. Because who doesn't love anchovies? Then select the type of meal you want to cook. For example, breakfast, lunch, dinner, etc. We'll stay with lunch. Toggle the sliders for the kitchen tools you have. Move the slider for the amount of time that you have. Let me scroll down here. Answer the question, are you a good chef? I'll leave it on novice. Then select the desired chef mode. Gourmet mode will only use the best combination of ingredients, while all in mode will use all ingredients that you entered. This one, I'll leave it on gourmet mode. When you're done with all that, click on generate your recipe. So based on the ingredients mentioned, it generated a recipe for savory salmon frittata. It generated an AI image for that recipe. Then if you scroll down, you'll have the instructions and that's about it. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I should point out because the recipes are AI created that they're unique and not available elsewhere. Chef GPT uses a freemium model. For free, you can generate five recipes monthly and you'll have access to the pantry chef mode for unlimited generated recipes and access to all their modes, their pro plan is around $3 per month. On the website, Explain Like I'm 5, their artificial intelligence tool makes complicated subjects easier to understand. To use it, choose your language. There's more than a dozen listed. Over here on the left, this is kind of fun. You can choose whether sarcasm is turned on or off. Of course, I'll turn it on. Type in your question. Choose how you're feeling. I'm feeling pretty dumb, dumb, smart, pretty smart. I'll leave it on pretty dumb. Then when you're ready, click on run prompt. It took about a minute to complete. As you can see, it gave quite an in-depth answer for such a simple question. Just like ChatGPT and Bard, the answers may not be 100% correct. On Explain Like I'm 5, they give you three free tokens per day to run three prompts. If you need more tokens, they have plans that start at around $4 per month. Automated Combat lets AI take on both roles in an epic debate, where you select two famous people and let them duke it out. For this debate, I'll select 
LeBron James. And I'll make him rap. He'll be going up against Michael Jordan. And I'll make him calm and polite. Let's start the battle. Another Google AI experiment is Freddie Meter. If you're a fan of the late Freddie Mercury, you'll love this one. Using machine learning models, it analyzes your voice to determine how close your tone, pitch, and melody are to Freddie's voice. You have four songs from the band Queen to choose from. Don't Stop Me Now, We Are the Champions, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Somebody to Love. Because I can't play copyrighted music, this is as far as I can go. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of any AI tools that you think would be fun for our viewers to know about, let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell to not miss out on our latest AI videos and other tech-related stuff.